In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add the fillets and chamfers as shown here to finish off our water meter housing. I'm going to control tab back to my other document. And I'll add the 60 thou fillets first. So I'll come up here and I'll select fillet. I'll set my size to 60 thou. And then I want to select seven edges. So there's two. Let's keep working my way around the part. There's the third edge. Zoom in a bit here. Here's my fourth. Zoom out. Back in over here. Here's my fifth. My sixth. Each time I'm leaving full preview on to make sure it goes well. So here I see you made a mistake. Although we might fill at these in the casting. I've selected a face I didn't mean to, so I'm going to come over here, right click and delete that selection. And then again, I'll select the edge and then I'll select this edge. I've got all seven edges. I'll right click to accept that and I've added the 60 thou fillet. I go back to the isometric view. Now I want to add a 60 thou chamfer to these holes. So up here below fillet, I'm going to choose the drop down arrow, select chamfer. Again, I set my size to 60 thou. I'm going to leave the default where I tell it the distance and the angle. So I'll just zoom in. I want that chamfer here and here and here. Whoops. Once again, I accidentally grabbed the face. So I want to watch that. I'll right click and delete that selection and just get the edge. Zoom out. I'm going to zoom back in over here. Select this edge, this edge. Now this edge because it's a spline, a converted entity, you're going to want to right click on it and tell it to select tangency. That way you'll get all the edge for certain. And I'll right click to accept that. I'll look isometrically and fit the geometry to the screen. I've now finished my water meter housing and I'll save my work.